now. How are we doing? You're live on both. We are live. And now we're going to wait for some people to get in here. Yep. It's going to be fun reading. Uh, if you'll go to YouTube, I'll I'm, go to TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I don't want to do the other two. The one downside from shooting you from like this is where you look down a lot. They get a good look at your hat, and I'm not sure that hat is on online. All right, so you said you're doing TikTok? TikTok. All right, we're getting people in from TikTok. Hey, all right. Derek Yates is here. Shane Williams. What's happening, Derek? What's happening, Kevin? What's happening, Zach Robbins? Be Thank wise. you for joining us. Folks, we are live right here from the world's largest knife store. We are here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's smkw.com, located in the heart of the great Smoky Mountains here, just off I-40, exit 407, uh, about four miles off the exit on Highway 66. You'll see a big blue roof on the right-hand side of the road. That's us. 108,000 square foot of showroom space. Maybe a little bit more now that we've got the mezzanine open up here. And we wanted to give you guys kind of a shot, a vantage point, so to speak, and one of my favorite views in the store, um, kind of showing the scope and the magnitude. So three complete levels here. Welcome um, in Joey White, Dan and Diesel. And you can see, so we've got our main level right through here. And then we've got our mezzanine level that's up here where we're at um, that has all of our apparel. So we do a lot of outdoor apparel from Ariat, Columbia, uh, Under Armour, Wrangler. Um, we've got lacrosse, Altama, Muck Boots, uh, Ariat Workwear, all that kind of stuff. So you remember the guy boots. that we were talking to downstairs, uh, Kevin yeah. and his wife Hope? They're in chat. Yeah. Want to say hi? I want to say thank you so much to Kevin for stopping by and talking to us for a few minutes. That was a really great conversation, and it's nice to actually get to get out of the office a little bit and get to see and talk to people. That's uh, one reason why we love going to trade shows, um, but also one reason why we love having this beautiful showroom here is we actually get to go and talk to the people that watch the channel and talk to the people that shop in the store. Now, if you've never been here before and you're wondering where we're at, we are at the world's largest knife store. 108,000 square foot of showroom space, the world's largest knife store. We carry brands like Benchmade, Microtech, We, Civivi Sincut. We've got uh, Olamic right there. We've got Heretic. We've got Medford. We've got Kershaw, ZT. We are the world's number one seller of case knives. Over there, we've got uh, Sincut as well. And we just That's got Civivi. Yeah. We got all three of them. Look yeah. at you. Um, we've also got Kaiser. We just got a bunch of Kaiser in as well. And Leon um, Natroski from France wanted to say hi to you from nice. YouTube. Absolutely. And uh, thank you for joining us, Dan Diesel. Love this place. Thank you so much. I tell you what. Um, and that's one of the things that I try to tell people all the time is this is a place that I came to when I was a kid. I used to get the catalogs in the mail. I would search through all the catalogs that I'd get throughout the year. I'd circle what I wanted to look at. And then one time a year, we would come to the store um, from where I'm from in Alabama. And uh, I would buy whatever I wanted um, after I saved up all my money from mowing yeah, grass and folks. recycling cans and stuff like that. So we've got uh, stuff from CRKT there. We've also got our bushcrafting section just down under that way. Um, and that's going to have brands like Essie, K-Bar, Tops, uh, LT Wright, um, Battle Horse Four. Knives, Tor, um, and uh, even Pathfinder Knives, yes. From, um, from down under, Half Breed. We've got Half Breed Blades down there too as well. Um, talk about some absolutely heavy duty, amazing D2 blades on those. Joey we also carry brands like Buck, Spyderco, Leatherman, um, Cold Steel, Sog, and our in-house brands like Marbles, Rough Rider, and Queen and I've Ooh. actually got something to show you from well, Queen that, right here. Before you do that, they had a question. Any cold steel? Yes, we do carry cold steel. We've got a ton of cold steel here in the store. And Joey White said, hey, got to meet you a couple of weeks ago when I dropped by there, so hi from them. Awesome. Thank you, Joey. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for stopping in on the live. We really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. We're up to 55 live on A. Bailey said we'll be there in 29 days from Dallas, Georgia. There you thank go. Thank you for joining us, Bailey. Um, so, uh, actually... Speaking of our in-house <clears throat> brands, uh, Queen USA Knives, uh, Queen Knives is a brand that we acquired, and uh, now that we have made, and these is th these, these this is part of our all-new Queen USA made line. This is the Mini Trapper. So you've seen a lot of our Queen USA made knives come out. We've had the Jumbo Trapper with the liner lock. We've also had the regular size Trapper. We've had the Stockman. 
we've had the Barlow, and now we've got the Mini Trapper here. This one's in stag, but we've also got it in green jig bone and red smooth bone. And these are coming in with 1095 carbon steel on the blades right there. And I'm gonna actually clean that off because that's been in my hayfield pocket. Um, so 1095 carbon steel on those blades, all American made, half stops, stag on the handles. This one's coming in at 86.99 um, for the stag handle and then 55.99 for the uh, red jig or the red smooth bone and the green jig bone so those are really great deals right there for all usa made knives they come in their collectible tins as well and just a great value if you're looking for something usa made with a classic steel like 1095 that's going to be really good hard use and really easy to sharpen you can't go wrong with that also speaking of blade steel if you haven't gotten in on it yet you need to check out our new March Madness blades, forging the ultimate knife bracket. That's right. We are getting in on the March Madness game here, and we've already got the brackets filled out, and we are going to have that up at 4 o'clock today. So be sure to check out our channel. We're going to have a video showing the seating based on your voting of all of the teams, and we've got four different categories. We've got blade steel, handle material, lock type, and blade shape. What you're going to do is we've created a bracket with a poll so that you can vote on who you think is going to win that game each week. All right? At the end of it, we're going to be left with four, and that's going to be the No, you guys are fine. How y'all doing today? In each one of those categories. That's going to make the ultimate knife. And for the championship game, with those four combined, we might have a little surprise for you here in just a couple of weeks. A couple of things. Somebody asked, any one arm uh, razors? And second, how big is this store? That's amazing. How big is this store? It's 108,000 square foot of showroom space. We are the world's hmm. largest knife store. We've been in existence since 1978, originally. Now, it started out in Pigeon Forge. We then What's moved going on, downtown Casey? Good to see you here. Then we also moved uh, up into 66 a little bit. And then this building, the original uh, footprint of this building was built in 19, or opened in 1991. Built so, in 1990. The late 1900s. Wow. I don't, I don't need to hear that again from you. <laughs> um, and uh, so, uh, opened in 1991, and we've expanded over the years. Started out around 52 to 58,000 square feet. Now we're over 108,000 square feet of showroom space. And um, somebody asked about uh, the one-arm razors. We've got the new 05 razor pattern from Case. Um, like I said before, we are the number one seller of Case knives in the U.S. And this is the new 05 razor pattern. This one is actually in the antique smooth bone. And I want you guys to look at this. So um, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna show each one individually up close. Really nice blade centering right there. Okay, you got really good, you got a really good view of it on YouTube. Show them again because it focused on your face. Let's see here. Let's put your hand behind it. There we go. There it really is. Really beautiful blade right there. And this is the single blade version. Oh. So I was really excited to get this one and see this one. Half stops on that as well. True sharp surgical steel on the blade. Nickel silver on the bolsters, brass pins, brass liners. Well, somebody asked, do you have a website where they could find those? We do. It's called smkw.com. Super simple. Just those four initials. S as in Sam. M as in method. K as in Kevin. W as in what? Um, SMKW.com, <clears throat> yes. So uh, they said that you should clean your nails in the fountain. Yes, I did. So um, I have gotten several comments about uh, my nails being dirty. Um, I try to clean them as much as I can, but I can't get, I can't afford to get manicures, and I'm sorry, but some of us actually work for a living. M is um, in Manson. <clears throat> so M is in Manson. Oh, okay. Mancy. Mancy? Mancy. That's, that makes no sense. So, um, yes, some of us actually work for a living. I, I, do I live on a farm. Um, I feed horses in the morning and at night, so it's, it's kind of hard to get and keep them clean. Anyways, so we're here at the world's largest knife store. That's smkw.com. That's where you can find all of our inventory right there and right here. If you get a chance, if you're visiting the Smoky Mountains, you've got to come and see us. We're actually listed as an attraction, and uh, that is because we are an attraction. If you look around here, it's not just um, retail sales space. Uh, we've got a lot of really cool stuff on the wall. We are actually a museum. Um, 
and part of the museum is open um, to be seen, and that's the stuff that you can see on the walls. We've got a lot of knife history um, available to look at and see on the walls here, and it's a really cool place to come and check out. You need to set aside at least a few hours, and you're still going to miss some stuff while you're here, and that's going to make you want to come back. So where are we located? We are located here in East Tennessee. We are Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains, just off I-40 exit 407, about four miles off the exit on Highway 66. As you go into Sevierville, if you're visiting Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg, the most visited national park in the country. Two what things. One, uh, David Blaze says he just picked up the Stag Barlow American Queen from us when he was here. So, And over on Tiki Talk, uh, someone asked, can I buy a Buck 110 Auto there without being police or military? Yes, you can. Now, you need to check your local laws. Um, you can, and I will say also, um, that depends on whether or not we have it in stock. I know we don't have any Buck 110 Autos in stock in the store. We, do we have a might have order them for available them, online, but we always have them on order. Um, so we'll be getting more of those in as soon as Buck makes them. Um, but if you're not military or law enforcement, be sure to check your local laws. You can buy it in store, um, but know your local laws and what's legal in your area. Because in a lot of places, those are legal but there are some places where those are not. So you need to check your local laws and make sure of that. And I always suggest go check out kniferights.org. Yeah. If, it's, if it's not legal in your area, check out kniferights.org and get involved with them. Doug Ritter does an amazing job. Um, we've actually made incredible strides over the last few years, getting uh, automatic knives legalized in places like Ohio and Pennsylvania and there are definitely more to come. So I refuse to believe Ohio is a real place. It's all made up. Um, it, a bunch of flatlanders is what it is. Yeah. Okay, um, so take a step back for me. Somebody has got a question. What are you carrying on your waist in, a, uh, in your scout carry one. there? Um, th that's one of the questions I get asked most often. That is going to be my Weatherford signature series right there. Um, this is probably my favorite fixed blade that I own, and I own some really, really cool fixed blades. Um, but this one is the one that finds its way onto my belt more often than not, and that's going to be my Weatherford Signature Series. That's 1095 carbon steel, full tank, fixed blade. Um, it is pinned on the handles. Those are G10 handles. You can see they're definitely uh, well-worn, well-weathered, um, and well-stained. That is because this Good is not you, only Nick. my for being with us. everyday carry, but this is also my farm knife, and this is also my hunting knife. This is what I process most of my game with, whether it's fishing, hunting, um, doesn't matter what it is. This is the knife that I use most often. The main thing that I do like about this um, is it is a convex grind. If you look closely at that grind, it is a convex grind. What that's going to do is uh, that is actually going to make uh, give you a lot more meat behind that edge and make that edge a lot more sturdy and a lot less prone to chipping, especially when you're doing hard cutting tasks with it. And like I said, it's 1095, so it is not stainless but it is really easy to sharpen and get hair popping sharp. So that's my favorite fixed blade right there. And I've got it cross draw right there for a few different reasons, but that is how I prefer to carry it. It's easy to get in and out of my car with it. Um, so yeah. Uh, two things, one, somebody wanted to know, do we have case knives? Yeah, we got case knives. They're right there. We've got a huge section dedicated to just case knives. Now it's kind of funny. We got a, compl uh, a compliment, a comment this morning um, basically calling me out, saying that I was a liar, saying that uh, there's no way Case Knives was our number one seller. No one gets to call you that but um, me. I'm sorry, uh, but when I'm the one sitting in the computer uh, looking at the sales numbers, I, I know what, what's going on. Uh, we Case is our absolutely our number one seller, um, and that is because a lot of our demographic here is still traditional slip joint knives. Um, and we carry every single line that Case puts out, including some exclusives from us, just like our most recent exclusive, the Case Sea Dragon Bone. And we, um, and we and had some people say in, uh, in chat right there that they got the new Razor Sea Dragons and that they loved them. Yep, yep. And so, we do have more and of those. We got more of those uh, Razor, 05 Razor Pattern Sea Dragons coming in. We only got a handful in the first shipment. Um, we've got definitely way more uh, on order of those and a couple more that um, didn't come in. They weren't able to make all that we ordered to begin with. So throughout this year, we're gonna be getting more of the Sea Dragons in, a couple of different patterns. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Also, 
keep an eye out because I just got approved to give a hint about this. We got another exclusive coming this summer from Case and it's gonna be absolutely wicked. If you're ready for the peanut butter and jelly, if you're ready for that classic lunch special, you need to get ready for that Case peanut butter and jelly bone. It is gonna be absolutely amazing. Okay, so. great question here. I bought a Leatherman from you guys and it's got a chip. Can I bring it to the store for warranty? So, Leatherman has their own warranty service. Um, we actually don't, uh, it's not, we don't handle their warranty service, um, but Leatherman does have their own warranty service where they warrant it, um, I believe it's 25 years, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm fair, I'm like 99.99% .99 sure on that. So get in touch with Leatherman. Um, you can find them at leatherman.com um, and send them an email. They will get right back with you. Um, if you have any issues and can't get a hold of them, um, you can send either me or Greg an email and we can get, help get that worked out for you. Um, but Leatherman has a 25 year mm -hmm. warranty on their products. Um, so get a hold of them because they handle all of their warranty service on those. They can either, you can send it in and depending on what the issue is, they can either replace that individual tool or fix that individual part and send it back to you. Um, if it's unrepairable uh, or uh, they can't fix, like uh, take a part out and put a new one in, hmm. then uh, they'll replace the whole tool. So they're really good about honoring their warranty. So check that out on their website, Leatherman.com. Okay, we got three really good questions on the case knives being our number one sellers. Is that by units or dollars or both? So yes, it is by dollars first, but also by units. Um, so, uh, yes, case, yeah. uh, two, <laughs> I don't know. How, There's not a good way for me to explain that in any more detail, but yes, both two. How are Rough Riders so cheap? So we have sourced some of the best, um, overseas manufacturers and we have been working with those manufacturers for literally decades. Um, our founder, Kevin Pipe started those relationships years and years ago um, and actually spent a lot of time overseas sourcing these different companies to make different things for us, including our in-house brands like Rough Rider and Marbles. And uh, this is a great example right here. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that is a green G10 right there. And yes, that is a front flipper um, and it's also on bearings. So watch this action right here. This is the Rough Rider. Uh, 2599 green black G10 liner lock folding knife. This rolls off the tongue. Um, but that is also a front flipper. Let me see if I can, I might be able to do this on camera. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, I haven't gotten that used to this one, but. Well, that's oh, I'm holding the blade there. Yep, that's my brand there we go. new one. Um, so Greg just got this one actually. 440 on the blade steel, G10 on the handles, nice oversized pivot. Um, it is a liner lock reversible pocket clip right there, and super smooth action. Um, I really dig this thing. The more I hold it and the more I fidget with it, the more I really like it. It was coming in at what, 23 bucks? 25 dollars somewhere it, in there. It reminds me of the uh, Tadpole, all grown up. Yeah, it's like our Tadpole. Nope, I apologize. All grown up. I was wrong, PC was right, you all can clip it. I am so good. I can't, uh -huh. I, and humble. Just Don't forget sometimes. humble. It just hurts sometimes. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. My name is TC. I am here at the world's largest knife store. That is mm. smkw.com, located in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains, just off I-40 exit 407, Highway 66, about four miles off the exit. You'll see on the side of the road a big blue roof. That is where we're located, 108,000 square foot of showroom space for your, your premier Stuart, which outdoor knife are you talking about? outfitter. What? Uh, Stewart's asking which knife. I'm going to ask for a, a fresher on that. We had somebody ask, are you going to be carrying the Case uh, Rescue Squad edition when it comes out? Yes. Yes, we will be ca carrying that. Um, and like I said before, we carry every single inline product that Case makes. Unless it's an exclusive that they make for somebody else. Or themselves. We carry it. Um, when it comes to Case knives, we carry everything that they make. Uh, and including their Zippo line as well. So... We do a lot of exclusive work with them, and we have a really close partnership with Case. Have had for many, many years now. Okay, um, we have Dylan with us. So, why don't you, did you grab the orange knife or the other one? I did not grab the orange oh, knife, but I want to talk to you guys about this one. So, this is a new product from uh, 
Microtech right there. This is the MSI. It's been out for about a year. There have been some minor changes made to it over the last year. Um, but this is a really cool knife, and I think it's worth taking a look at. And that is because, uh, for one, it comes in a lot of different colors. Um, for Dylan, people like Dylan, um, he's going to get the orange one. Well, I'm just but it comes in this OD uh, color right here. Um, that's is that OD a, green or coyote? It's more like a coyote. I thought the box said OD, though. Um, anyways. We'll go with OD since I named it that. Uh, then also a black one. So that's a polymer handle right there. M390 MK on the blade steel is the MSI with the ram lock. Um, and this one's coming in under $200. Actually, $175. $175, I think like $61 or something like that. But that's amazing for a nice, sturdy, heavy-duty, everyday carry manual folding knife, modern folder with premium blade steel. Ooh. I mean, that is an insane price right there. And think about how this compares and what it competes with. It's so. bigger than a Benchmade bug out, coming in about the same price with comparable slash better blade steel materials, depending on how you look at it. If you if you upgrade the blade steel in a bug out, then you're looking at a lot more than this. Um, you look at uh, maybe what Hogue's putting out. Um, they're going to be at a comparable. So it's really nice to see more American companies getting on board with understanding that we need more affordable options right there. So um, that's a really affordable everyday carry option coming in at 175 um, with premium materials, super, super fidgety, and I really dig it. I don't think these are going to last long, so get them while you can. They're up on our website right now. So that is the Microtech MSI mm -hmm. M390MK on the blade steel. Now, I'm going to go ahead and answer this because... Um, invariably, some, somebody always asks, and I've gotten it a lot the last few days, what's the difference between M390 and M390MK? Well, Ray Helms from Microtech was here just a couple of weeks ago, and we were discussing that very, that very concept. So M390MK, it's kind of like the difference between uh, a Mrs. C says, hey, regular TC. line whiskey. Hi, Mrs. C. And like a barrel select or a single barrel. So uh, it's kind of like... It's hand-selected M390. So it's got, I guess, uh, a lot more consistency within its uh, composition um, and within its makeup and within its treatment. So it's, it's like a hand-select version of M390. And that is what uh, Microtech has worked with Bowler on getting. And that is what they are putting in uh, most of their knives going forward, all of their new production stuff. Timmy B, how you doing? We appreciate you being here, brother. What's happening, Timmy B? Okay, so the one that they were asking about earlier was yep. the new Rough Rider, if you'll show that off one more time. Yeah, that's the green and black G10 right there. Flipper, and it is a front flipper, ball bearings on the pivots, and it is a liner lock. Super, super smooth and fidgety. Watch this. Just, oh man, that is just fantastic. Pops right open right there. Reversible pocket clip. Coming in at $23.99. Let's, Good to see your rents. How are you doing today? Listen to that. Yeah, that's satisfying right there. Oh, do you have any grandpa-style knives that are a bit larger? We do. We've got quite a few. So if you're looking for a quote-unquote grandpa-style knife, um, I'm guessing you're looking for something like a slip joint. Uh, we've got the folding Renz, hunter. if you want to type out your comment again, I can take a look at it. We've got the Folding Hunter from uh, Case, um, and we've got Folding Hunters across the board from several different manufacturers. Um, those are going to be a larger style. We've also got ones like this, and this is a great one right here. Um, so this is going to be the, uh, the full-size copper lock from Case. Mike Curtis, how we doing? This is a worn and well-used, uh, and this is a carbon steel blade. So it's supposed to have a patina on it after being used. Um, this is Greg's personal right here. This is the full-size copper lock. They also make the mini copper lock, but if you look at that, you get an easy four-finger grip on that, and it's got a very substantial blade on there. So uh, that's going to be a good full-size. We've also got things like the large Stockmans, um, the Jumbo Trappers, things like that. So those are going to be really Renzo, great options comments a couple of times. for you want to a else, larger I'll be happy to come in on grandpa them. knife. Yeah. Oh, let's see. And... Well, you had a knife oh. stolen from your desk because you left it alone. 
and this is the orange version oh, of that, so that MSI. Look at that. Uh, that's Dylan's favorite right there. Just a beautiful knife and really, really good action on that thing right there. I love this knife. Uh, reversible pocket clip, premium materials, oh, um, and they, coming in at 175. They said they can hear Dylan. I think they should see Dylan. Dylan, go over there. Dylan. Hi. Thanks he, for my knife. You bought this for me, right? I didn't know. I did not. So Dylan is over our custom shop here. We do custom engraving. We also do sharpening. Um, so uh, our custom shop does a lot of really cool work with titanium aftermarket scales. But also, if you're looking to get a knife, you you can engrave blades. You, you can, can engrave some handle materials. Yeah. Bone can be done. Yeah. Um, wood. Mm, Depending. Well, I don't want to catch this beautiful building on fire. So, so you know. but we do have a laser engraver, shot. and we do uh, custom engraving uh, downstairs. So, if you buy a knife, it's what five bucks to have it custom engraved. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. Five five dollars for a tech, ten dollars for an image. And we also do custom engravings for businesses, mm -hmm. like if you're having um, parties or something like that, wanting to give gifts. Um, and wanting to get knives for employees, maybe a Christmas party or something like that. We do a ton of those every year. Two so, quick things. Um, Number you can one, get in touch with our help desk and or our customer service, and they can reach them at can, SNKW uh, at custom uh, customs at SNKW .com. Yeah. Two quick things. Number one, say hi to Tobias. He can only be here 10 What's minutes. What's happening, Tobias? Thank you for joining us, man. And number two, don't forget to congratulate Dylan on baby girl getting ready to That's be here soon. That's right. There's going to be a little Dylanette. Dylan's got a bun in the oven. Watch yeah, he out, does. Well, that here explains a few things. <laughs> Dylan, thank you so much, brother. Sure. Absolutely. So, folks, we are here at SMKW. That's Smoky Mountain Knife Works. SMKW.com online the world's largest knife store here in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains, East Tennessee, just off I-40 exit 407 on Highway 66, about four miles off the exit. You'll see a big blue roof, 108,000 square foot of showroom space carrying brands like Benchmade, Microtech, Case, Kershaw, ZT, CRKT, Spyderco, Buck, Old Timer, Boker, um, Leatherman, Sog, Cold Steel, um, Baron Sun, uh, we've also got an old knives section. We've got a bushcrafting section that carries brands like LT Wright, SC, K Bar, Tops, Half Breed, Tor. So, Quick all of your knife from, needs. From Tobias, here. are we engraving on uh, SAK scales? So, that would be a Dylan question. It, uh, on uh, Victorinox. Victorinox with um, Army knives. Those would be kind of tricky because um, the. They melt. Uh, they melt. Yeah, they. They're, the polymer that they use is is not a super dense polymer, and it would shoot right through that polymer. Fun guys, if you want to shoot us an email, send it to TC uh, at his at uh, either on. Uh, so that would be TC Barnett, no spaces. T C B A R N E T T E at smkw.com. I don't even know what you want, but I'm giving okay. out my email apparently. Well, well fun, <laughs> fun guys has new sunglasses that you put on, and they'll be able to spot morels and other things like that. Nice. A couple of my buddies up in West Virginia have them and everything. I've seen them do them. So they're saying we should carry them. I'm giving them your email address because yep. it's easy. Shoot so. me an email with a price list and stuff like that. Yep. I will give it to the people that, uh, that need to see it. That is not a decision that I make. But nope. we promise nothing. I can pass that information on. To the people that need to see it so I do definitely not, send me an email yeah, i do not have my new flashlight on me but people are asking do you carry flashlights we do carry flashlights from the likes of streamlight nebo phoenix and stay tuned because we've got some really really cool content from phoenix we partnered up with them um, to do some testing um, and like real world testing of a few of their products so we're going to be going forward with that this year and that's going to be running throughout the year. We're going to do some preliminary testing um, and some videos with them. We're also going to do some in-depth field testing with them, and then no, no, maybe good, some. Uh, it's a lot. If you want to hit them when I you go by, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Heavy-duty <laughs> torture <laughs> testing, but a little bit of torture <laughs> testing with those things, just to see what they're capable Fun of. Fun guys are shooting you an email. Uh, do you engrave uh, on bone covers? Bone covers, like I would guess, like yeah. handle scales, that's like. What I'm guessing. Uh, like you would find on a case knife or something Jack like Farm that. Boy's in chat with us. What's happening, Jack Farm? You know who that is, don't you? That's Jeremy from... He came in and saw us. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening, Jeremy? Good to see you, bud. Smooth white bone. Smooth white bone. Smooth white bone. Tobias, he says smooth white bone. Yeah, that's going to be the, the most conducive to do laser engra engraving mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. um, so, 
Uh, we also have oh, a lot we, of outdoor equipment, too. We had so, somebody ask, are you in Texas? No, we are in Tennessee. East Tennessee, to be exact. Smooth we are Smoky device. Mountain Knife Works, in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains here in Sevierville, Tennessee, just off I-40 exit 407, a few miles off the exit on Highway 66. <laughs> Big blue roof, can't miss it. 108,000 square foot of showroom space. We are t East Tennessee's premier outdoor outfitter. We've got a lot of outdoor equipment here, and we are not only home to our own business, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, but our two sister stores. M-Dog, if you're about to pass the store, make sure that you're careful driving while watching. Located inside, downstairs, um, in our basement here, we've got our sister store, SMGA, um, and we've also got our flagship location in Knoxville. I'm not going to say what SMGA stands for because pew -pews. we are live, but it's for all of your pew-pew and freedom seed needs. Um, so we have that company as well as the other company inside our building, uh, also family owned, Ooh. is going to be the Smoky Mountain Relic Room and some really, really cool antiques and relics from around the world. So really cool stuff. There. We got a good comment. You need a zip line in that showroom. That this this would be the perfect place for no. it to zip right down onto the ramp down there. Mm. And I mean, this would be perfect. What about a little brand called Finch Knives? Do you guys carry those? Finch Knives. We do carry Finch Knives. We've got a handful of them left. Um, they are located over in our old showroom space, um, in the original showroom space here. Got a couple of jackets over there, How are we doing too? on likes here? Uh, we got 106 on this one. Nope, likes. 106 people watching with 41 likes. We've got 4.8K because you've not been telling the 325 people to do yeah, it. Yeah, you, you folks got to like that. You, you got to get those fingers working. All right, we've got the, we've got the tap method show, here. Show them how to do I'm it. I'm going to show you how to do it, all right? So last that. week... Um, these guys got me to put my head in the waterfall down there. If you look right here, I'm still surprised that you have hair after that. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get right what over do you here. Think he's wearing a hat. Um, you can see the world's largest sword and stone right there. Goes perfectly with the world's largest knife store. That's gonna be right there. My fingers on it. Right there. Right there. Wait, yeah. wait, you are on. You are on. Uh, I'm, I know one, I'm on, on a delay, other. but yeah. yeah. So, world's largest sword and stone. Actually, they got enough likes for me to uh, stick my head in the waterfall. Um, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do today because it doesn't look like you guys are going to get us enough likes. Um, but we'll see. Void, I appreciate you. Uh, Void is but, the one that did the screen recording for me last yes, week of that. Appreciate thank that. Thank you for that. So you just get that one started. You get those going right there, and it's just going to it's just gonna light it up. I need you guys to light it up. Oh, All right, that has been our catchphrase since I started here. Light it up. Get those likes going. You can get a ton of them in there real quick. Uh, Texas we got to get above 50,000, yeah. all right? Texas knockout says, wait, that's not a green screen? Not a green screen. This is real. This is real. Is this the real life? Yes. You all made him sing again. I blame you all for this. So um, oh, we are here of, at the world's speaking largest Speaking of singing, they say, on top of Old Smokey, covered with knives. On top of old Smokey. No, uh, how about you stop singing, Greg? <laughs> um, anyways, so that's where we're at. We're at Smokey Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store. We're here talking to you guys, showing you different views. We go live every week here, showing you guys different views of the showroom and what we have going on here. Really excited to see you guys every week. So thank y'all so much. Keep hitting that like button. Keep getting those likes going. Milton Georgia us on TikTok. a water ostrich? water ostrich sticking my head in the water uh, yeah can i throw my birthday party there i, I am from bdc what is up my now dude? you're more than welcome to bring everybody yes. here but uh we don't have like a party space necessarily no. um and if you if you bring a cake i'll let you slim now i will tell you this we do have our fall festival that happens every year in october um and we've already got some stuff planned out for it we're gonna have some really really cool stuff going on here for our fall festival in october Bunches of food trucks, bunches of events, including blade sports cutting competition we got, out in the parking we lot. We just got so confirmation that we're going to have the Daisy. Daisy range out there. Greg is actually going to be our range, excuse me, range master. Um, so had a little indigestion oh, there. Oh, is this uh, Cabela's? No, this is not Cabela's. Don't you speak those words in here. Travesty. No, we are in Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's smkw.com. The world's largest knife store here, located in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains here you in being East Tennessee. In. Take it easy and have and, a good day. Uh, we've been here for over 45 years now. We are going on our 46th year uh, here in East Tennessee. And really, really cool stuff going on in this store. Folks, if you haven't had a chance to come and see us, it's 108,000 square foot of showroom space. 
carrying no, it's all not Bass kinds Pro, it's not of Bass Pro Shop points. either, is it? No, it's not Bass Pro Shops. I've been there. I worked there. Long time. Um, so we are here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store in East Tennessee. 108,000 square foot of showroom space at the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains, just off I-40 exit 407, just a few miles off the exit. Big blue roof. And we carry brands like you're going to see here. Case, Kershaw, ZT, we Civivi, and Sincut. We've got Benchmade. We've got Microtech. We've got CRKT, Spyderco. We've got Essie, Tops, Tor, K-Bar, Halfbreed. We've got LT Wright. We've got Battle Horse. We've got Smith & Sons. We've got White River. We've got Bark River. We've got all the rivers. We've got Buck. We've got Sog. We've got Cold Steel, Boker, Leatherman, Victorinox. We've got a huge Victorinox section. Mm -hmm. with a ton of knives that you can only get from right here at SMKW, including our line of Tinkers and Classic SDs. Really cool little knives that you can find there. So um, we've also got our in-house brands like Rough Rider, Marbles, and Queen USA knives. The knives that we've been giving away, we need to give a shout-out because I have been sending out the emails. Yes. And so, the one I've not got a response back from is Dakota Denton 4. We need Dakota Denton 4 to send us your information. You were one of the winners from our giveaway two weeks ago, and we haven't heard from you. I give we you really one hate to give that away to somebody else when you were the winner. So get in touch with us. Send us a private message with your information if you are Dakota Denton 4. I have sent them a DM. He has. We have sent you a DM on Instagram. Is that right? Yep. Yep, we sent you a DM on Instagram, so log in, check your um, message request. That's sometimes where mm -hmm. those get in, uh, those end up. So check that out, quick, because we definitely want to get you your free knife sharpener. Yep. Mm -hmm. Quick shout out to Brian from BEDC. Yep, he did a video for us on the Rough Rider Vibe. Yes, and he's going to be was doing a one great for video, one Brian. every week for the next seven weeks. Nice. And Brian, it was really great getting to meet you in person and talk to you at uh, Blade Show Texas. Had a great time there. Um, hanging out over by the CDC boys booth. That was a <laughs> lot of fun. You cannot and legally change really your name to conversations win. that we have there. I really enjoyed that. It was what really were the great green and brother. orange flippers that TC was showing off earlier? The orange? Green and orange. Oh, I think. Well, we got one of them was the Rough Rider right here. That's the green and black G10 right there with the 440 blade steel on it. $23.99. Really good action. That's Greg's right Nine there. Nine, it says Franklin. And then we we've also got away. our Microtech MSI. This one's in the orange handle. We've also got it in the OD and the black right here. I'm going to get... Uh, Mrs. C wants you to know Roll Tide. War Eagle. Um, so <laughs> we're getting going for the uh, March Madness. Um, so we've got uh, both of these MSIs here. Ramlock under 180 bucks. Mm -hmm. 175 yeah. for each one of these. Um, Leon, I'm very sorry. MK, Leon, I'm very sorry. We do not ship outside of the U.S. right we now. We do not. Not as of right now. We are currently looking at options, possibly. But I wish I was allowed in that store without adult supervision. <laughs> so, uh, folks, if you haven't gotten in on it yet, uh, today we are actually going to be launching our March Madness Blades. You need to check this out. It's starting at 4 o'clock this afternoon um, to go along with... We're getting in on the March Madness action. So... Uh, if you've been involved in it so it. far, we already did the seeding, and we're putting out that video today to start the tournament. So we've already seeded all 32 teams in four different categories. Blade steel, blade shape, lock type, and handle material. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a poll going for the next few weeks, and we're going to go through this tournament. Each one of these seeds, it's, you know, of course, one seed against eight seed, eight in each category. All right, when we get down to the final four, we're going to have our ultimate knife. This is forging the ultimate knife bracket, all right? And once we get down to those final four for that championship game, we just might have a little surprise for you. So today at 4 o'clock, we're going to be dropping that video with the link in the description for it. All you got to do is go onto that poll, cast your vote for each game, and you get to determine the winner in this tournament challenge right here, March Madness Blades. So be sure to check that out today. That's dropping, I believe, at 4 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Keep an eye out for that. That's going to be dropping across all platforms. Uh, Isaac and I recorded that video yesterday, and that was a fun video to do, too. 
Lots of puns. Speaking of uh, fun videos, Nick wants to know, Blade of Ginger, that is, come on. when's the next Knife Jeopardy? Next Knife Jeopardy. Uh, we've actually, tr we've been working on planning that out. We just haven't had time to film it yet. And we've got to look for some contestants uh, that are going to be able to compete. So Yeah, uh, I, I zeroed out. I'm out on yeah, that one. you got to yeah. bring Jason back. Greg, Greg zeroed out on that. Isaac zeroed out on that. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm going to be the host because it would be unfair for me to compete in that right now. Um, Mike C's got a good question. Is the case event in June? Yes. As of right, yes. Duh. We need to look at a specific date on that because I don't remember it right off the top of my head. But yes, yes it it's in June. All right, that so is coming up quickly. So You are now at 22.5K likes. Oh, you guys. And 75. Trying to make me a liar here. Mm -hmm, All right. Mm -hmm. So now, I see what you're doing. Now, we did send we did send out the DM today on the uh, Rough Rider Damascus yes. uh, Easy Pool. So the Damascus Easy Open that we gave away last week, uh, we actually chose a winner. We sent out the DM on that one today. Saturday, June 29th, Saturday, June 29th is going to be the case family reunion tour so saturday you know, june 29th is what it's looking like all month long okay how many little tcs would it take to put, uh, pick up the big sword it would take a lot <laughs> it would take a lot if you can pull that sword out of that stone you can rule the world that's that's the okay. way that one works first. uh i'm coming in pretty soon do y'all have any knuckle knives um I don't know if we have any in stock right now. We do we have some. Might. We do have a uh, Rough Rider and a couple of the other brands up in the old that's section. That's right. That's right. Um, and check your local knife laws with yes, those. Yes. Because um, those can be kind of sketchy when it comes to local knife laws, depending on, like here in Tennessee, um, carrying brass knuckles is illegal. Mm -hmm. okay. So, a couple of questions. I'm going to fire three of them at you quick. One, are you guys hiring? Two, is this Bass Pro Shop? And three, Rough Rider, I know that that's a lifetime guarantee. Any other brands? We are always accepting applications. No, this is not Bass Pro Shops. This is Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store, located in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains here in East Tennessee, just off I-40 exit 407 on Highway 66. As you go into Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. What was the third question? Uh, Rough Rider, that has a lifetime guarantee. What yes. other brands have a lifetime guarantee? Um, Tor. Tor does. Essie. Uh, Essie has a lifetime unconditional guarantee on their products. So it doesn't matter how you destroy it. They might ask you how it happened because it might be outrageous. But they have an unconditional warranty that actually follows the knife throughout its lifetime. No matter how many times it changes hands doesn't need to be registered. SE has that 100% uh, lifetime guarantee, unconditional. Oh, do you all sell knife-making supplies? We do. And we do sell knife-making supplies in the store, and I have some at our that... custom shop, and online as well. So mm -hmm. we have blade blanks. We have handle materials. Uh, we have leather stacks to make handles with. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got brass pieces. We've got pins. We've Mosaics. got screws. We've got all kinds of stuff. That. So... Um, check right. those out online and in the store. They're going to be uh, over near our custom shop if you're shopping in store. So check out our knife making supplies. We've also got aftermarket handle scales for a few different knives. Um, things like the Spyderco Tenacious, the Para 2, Para 3, um, the CRKT CEO, which we've actually got online. The custom shop CEO mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. our own CEO, we do, we Tyler do. Pipes. He, uh, he himself custom flame anode um, some Tiger Stripe CEOs there. So I call it the CEO CEO. Those are coming in at $89.99. Custom flame anode titanium CEOs. Motor City Magnet Fishing, we do not repair Kershaw autos. Those need to go directly through yes. Kershaw themselves. <clears throat> if you're having trouble getting a hold of them, Feel free to DM us. We can see if we have any contacts on the back end of it, but contact them directly. You don't want to void your warranty on those autos. Yes. Um, let's see. We also, uh, Randy says, hey, how do you find SMKW? Well, for one, you go online to smkw.com, or you can just type this into any maps application. We're the only one that exists, I promise you. It is Smoky Mountain Knife Works here off of I-40 exit 407 in East Tennessee, the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains on Highway 66, just a few miles off of the I-40 exit. 
Um, you'll see a big blue roof on the right sa- right hand side of the road. It's a 108,000 uh, square foot showroom space. We are the world's largest knife store. Pork sword. Okay, so we do have a couple of Jack Wolves in house right now. Yep. So stop by and get them. We also have them online. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure we sold out of that uh, Gunslinger Jack. I believe we did. Um, and he also asked, same person, uh, Pork Sword, is the Raider Razor Pattern Shipwreck exclusive case coming anytime soon? So I'm going to guess he's saying the Sea Dragon. Probably the Sea Dragon. So we did get a handful of those in. Um, that was not the full order. They shipped us what they had so far. Um, and we've got a lot of pre orders for those. But we do have a lot more of those coming in. Those will be coming in in the next few weeks, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, but those should be coming in very, very soon. Um, in addition to a few other patterns that you haven't seen yet from our KC Dragon series. So, so we had somebody ask SMGA. We know what that stands for, yep. but what some of the brands that SMGA carries? So uh, SMGA is going to carry all major brands. Now we do specialize in hunting equipment, um, and now going forward. Both locations, here and our Knoxville store, um, have our optic station set up um, so that we can, if you buy it from us, we can mount and bore side optics Master, for we you. we do not do pre-orders. It, when they turn live, it's first come, yeah. first serve. So, um, as far as SMGA goes, we carry all the major brands mm. from things like Springfield, Winchester, Marlin, Ruger, Glock, um, SIG, we are a SIG elite dealer. Um, we've got, let's see, Mossberg, uh, Remington, we've got Canic, we've got Bond Arms, we've got uh, Smith & Wesson. We are a uh, Smith & Wesson premier dealer as well. Um, Nick, go to smga.com and type that in. I'm not going to know off the top of my head. TC's what is it? Do you guys have any red dots that fit a Canic TP9SC? Yes, we do. Um, those are going to be, those should be on our website. Um, and we have a whole host of red dots available, Mm -hmm. um, from makers like Vortex, uh, Hollow Sun, um, Trijicon, um, and a couple of others, if I'm not mistaken, still in stock. So check those out on SMGA's website. That's SMGA.com. You can buy rifles, but not pistols if you're out of state, correct? Kind of. So, uh... Uh, you all yes. stumped him. Look at that. So it's quiet. It, I like it's, it. It's, it's kind of complicated. Ask so if you come into the store, if you're from out of state, you can buy a handgun from us, but you have to have it shipped to a local FFL dealer. Um, and that's how we keep everything legal. Um, we have to abide by those laws per the ATF. So if you buy a smaller QQ, that doesn't have a long barrel. That is the truth. And Janet. a buttstock. Then you have to have it shipped to your local FFL. It, you can buy longer QQs um, in the store and take them with you. Um, but okay. all of those are going to require a background check, obviously. We actually um, had this question earlier. You and I talked about it. Hey, do the brass tenacious handles fit the lightweight or only the G10 version? I think they will fit because I did look closely the lightweight. So here's the deal. And here's why most aftermarket like para three and para two scales don't fit the lightweight versions. It's because in the para two and para three, the um, barrel spacers and the lanyard tube is actually made into the lightweight handles. However, on the tenacious lightweight, the barrel spacers and the lanyard tube seem to be identical to the regular G10 version, but we would have to tear one apart and uh, put it together with the brass scales to uh, make sure of that because I don't, I don't have any confirmation. I don't think we've done we've, it yet. We've never so done it, so we don't know 100%. We'd have to check that. Two um, things. One, what's on your hat? My hat? This is... Uh, oh, these. These are my airplane wings. No, these are our microphones right here. So we are live on uh, two different platforms. We're live on YouTube and on TikTok, and these are my microphones. This is a really good location to put it, um, simply because it is better than the shirt because it keeps me from bumping it if, uh, if like I'm moving around or something. Um, and it also is Look behind you. very handy. <sighs> we got a puppy. That's a good point to make too, because our store is pet friendly, all right? 
So as long as you come in on a leash or in a pet carrier, we are pet friendly here. And Bring we're, them also, in. We we're also getting several them. people requesting a pocket check. Pocket check from me. All right. Yes. Um, so you already saw my Weatherford signature series right there, yeah. 1095 carbon steel. That's my favorite fixed blade. Um, I've actually got my dad's. This was uh, one of the last knives that I gave him. This was a wee banter. Um, and he used it for uh, a little over a year. Um, and I inherited it back from him. Um, and so I'm carrying dad with me today. Uh, so that one's kind of special to me. Then I've also got, and this one's kind of a hint um, of things to come. A lot of you may know that Case did discontinue several different models and stopped making them over the last couple of How years. How are you doing, Dwayne? Good to things see Things like the Baby Butterbean, the Seahorse Whittler, um, several different patterns like that. Well, there's one that might be coming back. Tobias, welcome and back. It's one like this, all right? Okay, so yes. you're gonna need to show this to Tobias and Mrs. C over here on this one on close up. So I'm gonna open the blades. This one's one of my favorites right here. This was actually given to me by Clip Point Greg from Nashville. Um, this is or my the case other Greg, as I call him. Black micarta seahorse whittler right there. I love a seahorse whittler pattern. That is something that Tony Bowes and I definitely agreed on. The Seahorse Whittler is one of the sexiest knives I think ever made, especially in traditional knife patterns. You got the coping blade right there, you got the pin blade right there, and just beautiful ergos. It just fits in the hand really nice. Um, as you can see, I've definitely used this one. This one is well worn. Um, but I Tobias, just love we, didn't, we didn't say that, that it's back. PC is hinting at things. What? Tobias says the Seahorse is back. Very cool. This one's mine, and it's, I've had it for mm -hmm. a couple of years. Uh-huh. We it do offer military discount. Might be coming back to buy McGee, uh -huh. if you're going to muzzle your wife, we're staying out of this. I'm winking at Tobias. Uh-huh. We, we confirm nothing, Tobias. Um, you cannot quote me on that. I like making Greg sweat. <laughs> That's what I got today. So Greg has got his full-size copper lock here and his green and black G10 manual folder right there from Rough Rider. So full-size copper lock from Case. I love that one. I absolutely love that one. That one's going to be the carbon steel blade with the red jig bone handles right there. And then, of course, our brand new Rough Rider. Um, this one is item number RR2599. RR2599. I got to figure out a cute name for that one because it's the, it's the tadpole grown up. So it's the. It's a Papa frog. Well, we had, we had a bullfrog already. We had the bullfrog and already. That was the assistant. That was kind of the short, fat yeah, one. Yeah. And that's, that's perfect for a bullfrog, but this yeah. one's long and skinny. I'm going to call this the Papa Frog. Papa Frog. Papa Frog. Papa Frog again. Um, all, right. all right, guys, in the comments, you tell him what it should be named because that one doesn't work. Oh, wow. He didn't like that one. Um, also, wanted to show you guys this one. This is one that we just got in, and it's not going to last long. And that's going to be the LUDT oh, from You had not even show them that one. Tobias, you did come back in. Yeah. T LUDT Tobias, from do not Microtech. Agree. Do not agree with him, Tobias. Do not give him the confirmation. I'm just going to let Greg keep talking, and uh, I'm not going to talk at all. That'd be a change. Yeah, he's going to keep <laughs> interrupting me. Um, so we've got the LUDT right here from Microtech. This one's coming in at like 263, I believe it is. Um, really nice M390 MK on the blade steel. Aluminum on the handles. That's nice grip name. tape inlay right there. And uh, this has been a super popular knife. It's very affordable for a out the side automatic from a great company like Microtech. Um, that is a wonderful knife that we can never keep in stock. We've got a handful of them, and by a handful, I'm talking like three. Um, so if you want one of these, they're up and available now on our website, smkw.com. Get them now. So did you cut your fingers off? No, 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 I'm trying to figure out how you went from a handful then five to three. I mean, did, did... Well, a handful of these. Like, can uh -huh. you hold more than five of these in your hand without dropping them? Probably. I doubt it. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Got some pretty big hands. Yeah. Without scratching them? <laughs> you didn't say that. I mean, <laughs> Taylor Martin has nothing on that for you. Look here. Uh, they're also All saying right. the Kermit. The Kermit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kermit the Frog here. Yeah, whose hand? We got the uh, Papa Frog. Okay, so a couple of questions on uh, Case. Are, is there going to be a Sea Dragon Rust Lock? I don't know. You stumped him. And is there going to be an 05 pattern Caribbean Blue? Yes, it is here. 
So we do have the 05 pattern Caribbean saw cut bone. Um, it is available, should be up online. Um, Dr. Drew, SMKW. if you are in store, we are at the stairwell beside Benchmate on the third floor. Come up, say hi to us. And more doggos, look. We got puppies. We got puppies right down there. We got puppies. We are pet friendly here, folks. We are located here at SMKW. Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains, just off I-40, exit 407, Highway 66, just a few miles off the exit, big blue roof, you can't miss it, 108,000 square foot of showroom space, featuring brands like you see here, Kershaw, ZT, Benchmade, Microtech, Weiss, Vivi, Sincut, we've got Medford, we've got uh, McNeese, we've got Case, we've got CRKT, Spyderco, Leatherman, um, we also carry things like flashlights, uh, Phoenix, Nebo, uh, Streamlight, um, Nightstick. We've also got outdoor brands like Tops, Essie, uh, K Bar, <laughs> White River, Smith and Sons, uh, Bark River, Tor. Okay, so great question. Do you have to go through Pigeon Forge to get to your store? No. We're coming up to see Gatlinburg. No, you do not. So we are located um, out near I-40 um, and the I-40 exit on Highway 66 before you even get into Sevierville. Um, so coming through Kodak, uh, we're just past Kodak, just across the French Broad River there. Um, now it depends on which direction you're coming from to go to Gatlinburg, um, but we are okay, outside so of that area. Tina is saying we're coming from downtown Gatlinburg. How do we get there? Oh, yes. You do need to come through Pigeon Forge. So you would just come down the parkway through Pigeon Forge, through Sevierville, and then you'll just come straight and out Highway 66 towards I-40. And it'll be on the left-hand side of the road. You'll see a big blue roof just a few miles out of town. We're um, here every day very from far 10 to 6. It takes maybe 10 minutes to get here from downtown Sevierville, if that. And I think that we've been at this for an hour. You've not told them that we're giving anything away today, but we're sitting at 25.4K likes over here. That's we're not sitting, enough likes. We're sitting we're, at 81 likes over here. That's not enough likes. You gotta, you, we did 50,000 likes yes, uh, last week. <laughs> and um, Tobias my, just realized that your knife shirt is a takeoff of the old G.I. Joe. Yeah, G.I. Joe, baby. I actually lost a little bit of weight, so I went ahead and put this smaller shirt back on. Um, I haven't worn this shirt in probably two years um, because I got a bunch of hate for it because I put on a little bit of weight after I started working here. And um, yeah, I haven't worn this shirt in two years because I got fat shamed for it. Um, so that's fine. I don't care. I'm not upset about it. Do I need to show them my belly again? Folks. No, no showing bellies. <laughs> Dylan's over here trying to make me feel better about myself. Um, so, folks, my name is TC. Uh, I am the meat puppet here, the face of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's smkw.com. And Second we are the world's largest knife store located in the heart of Great Smoky Mountains here in Sevierville, Tennessee, just off I-40 exit 407, Highway 66. Just a few miles off the exit, big blue roof. Can't miss it. We're 108,000 square foot of showroom space featuring all kinds of outdoor brands, and Sharpie pointy things. Uh, another brand that we haven't mentioned yet is Condor. We carry Condor and all of their products made in their El Salvador fa factories there. Phenomenal outdoor blades, machetes, knives, whatever you're looking for from them, we've got it all. Hand of Tire says now he's the 90% lean puppet instead of meat puppet. I like that. You're my new favorite. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so speaking of the uh, I love you ah. so much sometimes. We like uh, to have fun, folks. We're just we're just who we are. We don't uh, we don't put on. Um, we just like to come and have fun with you guys. That's why we're here, and we want to thank you guys so much for being here. Um, you guys are the reason why we do this and and why we love doing this. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask us in the comments down below right now. And if you're not asking us a question, you better be hitting that like button on TikTok. All right. How about um, Slim T Shady? Slim T Shady. I am all for that. I am all for that. I'm going to check out these comments on TikTok and see if you guys are actually doing those likes. Um, We're sitting at 27.5 and 88. See, all you got to do is get those fingers rocking just like that. Just, just Blake, like that. I'm glad you're here with us and we hope the surgeries are doing well. Glad, hope to be able to see you next year. Old Army Boom. Voucher, bro. I know. Yeah. 
And so, just so you guys know, <laughs> this is not a green screen, or else I would have just walked through it. Um, so, no. What's your best blade store. for EDC? What? Is Isaac on lunch? Um, Isaac is actually editing a bunch of videos right now. Uh, we did probably, um, we, we got well over 100 gigs of footage yesterday that he is trying to edit. edit. Um, James and Janet just got the number one gifter badge. Thank you so much. Sent best, a lightning bolt as well. So Justin Lee, best quick blade for EDC. Mm -hmm. Now, I need a qualifier there. Are you talking quick as far as are you looking for an automatic or... Um, and what kind of price range? Because, I mean, with, we've got everything from, you know, budget. we got, you know, our Rough Riders and our Shrades all the way up through. Uh, I think we've got a, right down there with the Heretic, we've got a $7,000 out the front automatic that's like this big. And that's it's very, a quick very fast. blade, but it's not a good one for EDC. Um, price is not important. What did he say? Auto. Okay. So, um, a lot of different options there. Uh, one of the ones that I like, so I like a, a, actually, I haven't shown this one yet. You still have something in your pocket you haven't shown them? I do. I do, actually. Um, and this one's brand new. This is the new uh, Hera 2 Mini. Um, great EDC size from Microtech, coming in at 261. Um, this is the bayonet blade. One thing that's cool about the bayonet blade is you get the double edge, but you also get this section right here so that you can put your thumb on it and you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. Um, if you're not looking for something um, that has the double edge, um, there's also gonna be a few different options for that, but this has got their new dual fuel drive system. Super easy to actuate. I can even actuate this with my index finger. Um, and that's that's pretty impressive right there. Hands of Tear um, says they have a t-shirt making machine. They're gonna make you a 90% lean meat puppet uh, shirt and bring it to you. I like that. I will absolutely wear that. You will totally wear that. So that's a good option right there as far as a quick EDC. Um, really dig that one. Uh, and it's a perfect size too. You get all four fingers on there. Um, it's really easy to carry. It's not oversized or anything like that. Another great option is gonna be something like the Kershaw Livewire or uh, the Kershaw Launch ser Series. Um, definitely check those out. Those are gonna be great options um, as well. Um, the Livewire is gonna be around 240. Um, the Launch Series is gonna be anywhere from 100 to 180, somewhere in there. Uh, maybe 215 on the high end. So um, those are really great options for really quick EDCs there. Oh, you wanna play with that one? So what we're gonna do is we're getting ready to hit 30K likes. Do you think that's good enough to uh, do a giveaway? I guess so. What do you think we should do? Well, I mean, there's a lot of them that like that today. I do have a couple more of them down on the floor. I think we should do another Rough Rider giveaway. And since you brought up Condor earlier, I think the one they should like today is actually a video over on IG. You showing off the small knife. I'll let you pick what the, what the, what the uh, hashtag should be. I like that be. one. All right. So. Comment, not meat puppet. <laughs> Comment, Kermit. Over on IG. Over on IG. Now you gotta go to the right video, okay? So you're gonna have to go to Instagram. You gotta follow us on Instagram, all right? And comment Kermit on our video with the Condor. Yoshima. What? Yoshima. So that is a big blade. It is a big scabbard held machete blade sword thing with a huge micarta handle. It's, it's a Joe Flowers. So, um, it's a Joe Flowers design and it is it has definitely got Joe Flowers written all over it. So go over to Instagram from either platform and comment Kermit on our video of the Yoshima from Condor. We already right? have our first person that's done it. Timmy B has already said Kermit. That is really quick. Comment Kermit on that Yoshima video, uh, the Condor Yoshima video on Instagram. And you have to be following us on Instagram. We're gonna pick a winner in one week. And that is going to win one of these right here from Rough Rider, all right? So, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, where are we at as far as likes goes? Oh, 30.4. Awesome, you guys did and You guys did serviceable. 101 not, people, not 93 likes over there, so they're there's a few people that did not like you. Oh. It happens. Oh. 
Is there anything you want to say to him before you before we go back to work? I'm sorry, I was such a disappointment. Now you remind me of my, you know, grade school. What the hell? <laughs> Folks, you guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. My name's TC. We've been here with Greg and Dylan. Isaac's editing right now. Thank you all so much for joining us. Last Thank call. Thank you go, for go joining do... in on the lives. Be sure. Do the bracket. Huh? The brackets. Oh, yeah. Our March Madness Blades bracket. Um, so March Madness Blades, we've got that going on. Check that out at 4 o'clock today. It's going to drop our video with all the seating. That is based on your all's vo voice and vo votes. Little, little bit. For, for voice, voice the and votes. The voice. The voice. You all voted on your favorite blade steel, your favorite blade shape, your favorite lock type, and your favorite handle material. We took those votes, tallied them up, and we seeded those competitors in those four different categories. 32 competitors. All right. We're going to be doing a bracket poll. Today at 4 o'clock, we're going to drop that video of the seeding, and we're going to have the link to that bracket poll. And we want you guys to be involved to pick the winners of each of those games. Now, once it's down to the final four, that means we'll have our favorite blade steel, handle material, blade shape, and Loctite. That is going to create the ultimate knife, and we're going to have a surprise for you there at the end for that championship game. So, be sure to get in on that action. It's a lot of fun, and the video that Isaac and I did yesterday was a lot of fun as well. So, be sure to check that out at 4 o'clock today. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you. As always, remember, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the world's largest knife store. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it. They're going to have to pat him down before he 